Hey, what's up everybody? I just want to do a real quick video here on my uh, my fish finder setup that I just got. So I got a Lowrance TI-7. I put the Burley Pro cover on it and I also, for the transducer, because it has the total scan transducer, I've got the, uh, the Burley Pro mount there. Hopefully you can see it. It does a pretty good job at uh, protecting the transducer. I had it on my Outback uh, before. And uh, that thing really took a beating. So, uh, how I'm powering it, I've got the Nakua 10, 10 amp hour battery. Uh, this thing's real light, it's uh, I think a pound and a half. So, it's a lot of power for under two pounds. My old battery weighed like six pounds, I think, six or seven. Uh, it has, it's got a waterproof connector on it. So, you don't really have to worry about that. I just kind of throw it up in my front hatch. Um, it fits, yeah, sorry, there's little no CMs all over, they're tearing me up. But uh, it fits in the uh, Hobie battery holder, it comes with the kit actually. Uh, usually I just kind of wrap it around the mast, or the sail mast post in there. At the end of the day fishing, I'm going to give you guys a little update of how long this thing actually lasted. Uh, some people say they get 7 hours on this battery with the TI-7, <laughs> all these bugs are killing me. Uh, but I had a TI-5 and I lasted probably like 9 to 10 hours on it. But uh, yeah, at the end of this video, which will probably be right now, uh, I'll tell you how long it lasted. All right, as you can see, we just turned it on. It is 6.43 in the morning. Got the uh, sonar going. Got my uh, chart plotter going. So, uh, see how long it lasts. All right, guys, this is uh, pretty much the six hour update. It's 12.50, started it at 6.45-ish. And uh, yeah, so it's been going six hours, still going. I've caught a ton of trout today, like four reds, four or five reds. It's pretty annoying. I'm trying to catch a big, like, gator trout, but this is my good trout spot. But apparently, the reds invaded today. But I did just get this trout. He's about 17. Uh, just gonna let him go. It was a terrible release. But uh, yeah, update you guys maybe when it dies or when I leave. I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, it's uh, about 1.45, so the Lawrence has been on for 7 hours now. Let's see that. But uh, fishing's kind of slowed down a little bit, and I'm hungry, and I'm out of water also. So, I mean 7 hours is pretty good. Supposedly, from what I've read, that the Lawrence draw, or the TI-7 draws 0.9 amps an hour. So, I'm not a mathematician, but if there's a 10 amp hour battery, it should last at least 10. But uh, a lot of, I've read like some people only get seven out of theirs. All right, I know I, know I didn't mention it before, so this is how I mount, I mount the TI-7 to my kayak. So, I've got the Hobie H-Rail mount with the one inch ball, and then it's the, the Ram, Ram ball mount. Just hooks right into the back there if you can see it. So uh, yeah, that's how I put it on in case you guys were wondering. Oh, and by the way, I had it on like max uh, brightness. Brightness as high as it'll go. I had the sonar on the whole time and uh, it's lasted a little over seven hours now. So um, pretty happy with it. Can't really complain. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully coming out with some more videos here soon. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.